Hello everybody and welcome to the very first International Nail Talk Live e-workshop that we are doing from Magnetic Nail Design here starting on the 10th of January 2024. If you haven't seen Nail Talk Live before, we've done Nail Talk Live for 13 seasons in a Dutch version for the Dutch market and now we decided starting in 2024 to focus more in the international market on our international distributors, trainers and the international nail technicians and grow Nail Talk Live into an even bigger community with more fun, more inspiration, more hands-on homework, more certificates and more prizes than ever before. So tonight it's the very first one, it's all about hybrid nails and what are hybrid nails? It's a trend that we see in the Netherlands, a trend that is very popular among nail technicians and our trainer, my co-host, my normal co-host, Magnetic Brand Ambassador, Brand Ambassador, Brand Manager, Sirisa Klein is going to show her invention, the hybrid nails. But before we do that, traditionally I have to say, let's get started. Before we go to Syriza, who is already sitting at the tech table, I'll first explain to you the ground rules of what it is to do or to participate in an e-workshop like this e-workshop of Nail Talk Live International tonight. Every week we will do a live e-workshop where you can participate and ask all of your questions, whether it's about the technique that we are showing you or other questions that you have pertaining to nails, the nail industry, being a nail technician, and of course the products of magnetic nail design. We will answer all of those questions and try to incorporate your questions into, from my telephone, into the show, and explain and talk about these discussions live, while showing you a technical challenge. This can be either nail art, hand painting, a technical nail, and with a technical nail we mean a really built up nail, a created sculpted nail, and when we show you these different techniques, then it comes to you. Because when you make your homework, and we will explain what the homework is a couple of times during each e-workshop, if you do your homework, if you send in your homework or submit your homework, then you will get your e-certificate after receiving feedback from one of our top trainers, Jessica. You will get your feedback, then a certificate, and you have a chance to win amazing prizes that we will send to you straight from Magnetic Headquarters to your doorstep. So this means that if you are in love with nails, if you like to be inspired, if you just want to talk with other people that are enjoying doing what they do best, nails, then the Wednesday evening is the evening that you have to mark in your calendar to make sure that you participate in Nail Talk Live. My colleague, my companion, my co-host, my brand manager, Syriza Klein, is already sitting at the tech table, ready to show you her version of the hybrid nail and to answer all of your questions. So the first question of this evening, Syriza, what is a hybrid nail? Hi, I'm here and uh, yeah, welcome uh, to everybody. I'm so happy that you're all that you are all here. I'm going to I'm going to try to speak as uh, as easy as as easy not as easy as as slow as possible so that you can understand. Uh, first of all, the thing about a hybrid nail is that you are going to use you can use different kind of building products and you have to look at the uh, features of the product and then you can make a choice uh, if you need it or if you don't need it or maybe if there is an easier way. Uh, but I'm going to walk you uh, to talk you through it while I'm working because uh, I'm going to take the mo the hand of my model. I have already placed this elongation of the nail, and I built this elongation with um, uh, with Power Gel Clear. And for me, Power Gel Clear is a product that I can work very thin with, and for me, it's very easy because it stays in its place when you're using a nail form. So this is my choice. But for example, if you want to make a different nail, uh, uh, like a competition nail or a very long modern element nail or something like that, something that you really want to pinch, uh, maybe you prefer to use acrylics, for example. So this is also 
uh, and then you can also make a hybrid nail because this is not the only product that I'm going to use. While I'm building up the nails, I'm going to choose a different building product. And in this show, I'm going to use the Simple Blushes. So this is a builder from a bottle. And normally, you're going to uh, work with this product if you want to make really short nails. But now, as you can see, I want to make a long nail. So I'm not going to use the blush as, um, uh, as, a s as the strength of the nail. That's why I use power gel. But you can also use acrylic or a gel, a normal builder gel, so you can choose between products. Uh, so for me, the choice was uh, uh, now Power Gel Clear, and I'm going to use the Sinful Blushes. Let's have a look uh, under the camera. And why I'm going to use uh, this product, I'm going to use the Revenge, because the lovely thing about this product is that it's very, uh, well, it's a little bit semi-transparent, as you can see, almost like a glass gel. And this is the thing that, I'm really that I really need in the design. I need this transparency and I need the color as well. So I'm going to mix and match because I love blushes, but I also love to make these longer nails. So I'm going to combine it. I hope that is clear for now. Yeah, so just repeat. A hybrid nail is a nail where you use different technical nail systems based on the characteristics or benefits of the product that you're using. So for instance, you want to easily create a shape Power gel is easiest because it stays in place and it only cures when you put it under the light. You could also choose an acrylic or a gel. It's all up to your skill and your preference in the nail studio. What I do want to add is that also when you're not working with magnetic nail design, so you're a nail technician's work, nail tech working with a different brand, you're more than welcome to participate in the e-workshops. Also, you can create your homework, send it in, submit it, receive certificates and win prizes. It's always the trick that for the homework, you don't have to exactly copy what Syriza is doing or any of the other trainers are doing, are doing. You can make your own interpretation of the technique shown. So even if you're working and you don't have a red colored blush, then you can create a red builder gel in a bottle by mixing and match matching, using concentrates, gel polishes, and create your own staple mark nail. So I'm curious to see what, what will happen further. I also want to mention that every Wednesday evening behind the scenes, behind the camera, there is Gillian. And Gillian has been doing Nail Talk Live together with me and our whole team for the last I think four or five years. Sometimes he will also interfere with a question, but most of the times he's in my ear, helping me to make sure everything goes well, because of course it's live. And that always brings a little bit of anxiety perhaps, although <laughs> I love to be here. Let's go to the technique. The nail is created, an almond nail, and what are we going to do now? Yeah, you already gave a good, uh, good example. If you, uh, for example, don't have this colored blushes, you can use the rubber base clear and then add a little bit of color concentrates. And then you have this perfect semi-transparent gel that you can use uh, instead of blushes. But now I'm going to uh, use blush uh, because it's also very fast because it's already in, uh, in this jar. So I can use it directly. I already prepared the nail um, uh, of course, with the elongation and uh, a little bit of bond. And you can see that I pinched it a little bit too much on this side, but don't worry because I'm going to build up the nail. Uh, and then in the end, I can fix that, of course. Uh, we're going to use the, sorry. We're going to use the blush color gel greed. This is a black color and also a little bit uh, semi-transparent. And I'm going to use this as a base, well, not, not as a base layer, sorry, I forget about the base layer. <laughs> it's because of all that English. Okay, uh, first I'm going to start with the building base clear. And this is a protection layer, so that the uh, uh, black blush is not uh, penetrate the natural nail. I'm choosing this builder because it's very thin. And I only need this one layer. I'm going to apply it in the center of the nail. And you can see where I create this elongation. Uh, you almost It's almost invisible because it's very flat and blended on the natural nail. So I don't want, uh, want, to, want to have uh, bumps because that can destroy your design. 
So you want to create a very smooth surface. Exactly. Very soft surface and of course a protective layer between the pigmented color that we're going to use. In this case, a black blush, which is called greed, or a, for instance, a black gel polish, because you don't want to have the pigments penetrate into the surface of the natural nail, where it can lead to discoloration or overfiling when you want to remove the excess of product. These sinful blushes, which is a collection of six different shades, are actually quite transparent, have an 80 to 20% ratio in transparency, so you can play around with coverage versus transparency. So, let's see what will happen after this coat of building base. Yeah, uh, the nail is curing right now, and uh, I think like 20 or 30 uh, uh, seconds is just about enough for this very thin layer, and you see that I forgot to happens to me and that's why I know that if you forget it and then the second time <laughs> when somebody comes back you have this big problem with this black spots on the nail that is so hard to remove so don't forget it okay now I have this layer of blush greed and I'm just going to follow the nail you see clearly on screen that it's not a completely opaque product it has a certain level of transparency which you can use in your designs. Yeah, and I'm just using it as a, a gel polish. And you can see around the cuticle, I need a little bit of help uh, from, uh, I'm going to use the detailer tree to get a little bit closer to the cuticle. But it only has to be a very thin layer. But think about it, that this first layer, all the other layers are going to follow this first base layer. So be careful for th that you don't touch the skin. Close to me, I have the polish corrector, so that if I uh, spill a little bit of uh, gel onto the skin, that I can clean it directly. But this is good. You can see left and right that I need a little bit more... Um, how can you say that? Product. Uh, 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 it needs to be a little bit closer to the cuticle, mm -hmm. but you can also see perfectly how transparent the product actually is. And it's that transparency in the building product from a bottle that makes the blushes so terribly unique. You're going to do the detailing around the cuticle, Sirisa, and with which brush are you going to do this? I'm using now the detailer tree because it's not like uh, a gel polish that I wanted almost underneath the uh, eponychium. I just want it as close as possible to the cuticle. This, this is about enough. So the I detailer tree. I have a question from Magda. Can you also use power gel clear all over the nail, so also on the natural nail, with adding length instead of using the building base? Of course. Yeah, that's a very good one, Magda. Yeah, why not? But I think maybe... Um, yeah, you can cure. I think maybe if you don't have too much experience or if you want to be sure that it's really flat and thin, I think it's a little bit easier to use, especially close to the cuticle, this uh, building base because this is so thin and it's just uh, a, a very thin layer that you apply to the nail and that's it. Uh, for example, with power gel, uh, there is a little bit of danger that you are going to work too high, that you are going to use too much product. This can be tricky, but it's not impossible. It, you can do it like that, of course. I also read in the comments, Sirisa, that your sound is sometimes a little bit quavering. It falls away a little bit, so perhaps you can put it next to you instead of uh, in the back of you. I have it next to, to me. To prevent, okay, then just have a look at that it's all tight and even. And I also put my sound here to prevent any cracking, because that's always, of course, a little bit of a nuisance. What I also want to say is that for each and every challenge, as we call the e-workshops a challenge, you will have two weeks to create your homework. So two weeks to create the homework because we understand that you have a busy salon, have a busy life, are juggling your family, children and your career, and you need the time to set apart for yourself and your technical uh, development in creating these challenges. In the Netherlands, we have many viewers that have a lot of e-certificates. Some of them can actually fill a whole room with them, just showing to their clients that they have an education, that they are doing different things, that they are also creating nail art examples or different techniques, 
with the benefit, of course, for the client because she can choose these nails. We always also recommend, if you're a nail tech, to display the nails that you create on your table and also give them a pricing. So make sure that you show your clients what you are able to create and what it costs when your client chooses to have that done to her nails. For now, we will go back to you, Syriza, because I'm wondering what is the next step? <laughs> Okay, the next step is covering, because we need a black background. Um, I'm going to use, this is my basic, la my base here, uh, and yeah, well, I'm going to work and build on it right now with this blush greed. Uh, don't build a, 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 a full nail, just give it a little bit of coverage, and that's it. Close to the cuticle, you can add a little bit more. For example, like this, we're going to have a different, yeah, okay, thank you. So that you can see that I'm not uh, building up the nail with this product right now. I'm only going to look for this covering. And if it's not completely perfect, no problem, because this is just the first layer. And of course, in the end, especially close to the cuticle, we can uh, do a, a quick fix with this blush greed. For example, if you file a little bit away or things like that, because that can happen. It's not uh, a gel polish, it's, it's still a blush. But in case you don't have a similar building product in black or in any other color, of course you can always try to mix your own version. You can use any type of clear transparent gel-like product and mix this with either magnetic concentrates to create your desired glass effect or even mix it with a glass gel polish. You can also choose to mix it with, for instance, a gel polish color, but always be careful in this last case that you don't use too much gel polish color in a combination with your clear product. So you have to decide how clear do I need my product to be, and then you just add tiny bits of gel polish to your clear product, mix it and see if that is what you need and what you want. Because gel polish, of course, is a high coverage product. Yeah. And a high coverage product has as a tendency the need to cover. So just use it sparingly. Yeah, and that's why, uh, why I use this blush greed. Because it's, this is the perfect com uh, combination or the perfect transparency, uh, the perfect coverage. Uh, and it, I also know that it, is, uh, it cures without a problem. And it gives also the nail a little bit of strength. So I have all the... The, the features and benefits in this one bottle. So this is why I choose this bottle. I can make it myself, that's no problem. And of course, this is just inspiration. So if you need to make a mix, that's absolutely fine. But I want to show you this, yeah, cool benefits. I'm turning the nail a little bit upside down because then I know the, uh, the perfect coverage is in the center. And I'm always uh, also building a little bit of the structure, but not too much, of course. Can turn around and then we can look uh, to the nail at uh, the yeah this view and you can see it's not beautiful but i have some covering see a little bit of transparency over here that's also not a problem because we're not finished yet and if you see this uh the, the lowest point at uh, the lower arch you can see that it's a little bit clear but that's no problem because this is also my space to file okay and now cure yeah, Sabine already mentions in the, in the comments that when we go turn the finger upside down before curing, this is the panic mode or the panic <laughs> position. Yeah. Because in case you just don't know in the nail studio and the gel goes to places where you don't want the gel to go, for instance to the cuticle or over the free edge, just turn the finger upside down and automatically the gel will center itself to the center of the nail where it will stay until you turn the finger back around and you can reshape the product as you want. I also saw the question, does the homework, does it need to be on fingers or a hand or can it be done on color pops? Well, tonight the homework can be done both on a model or on your own hand, but also on color pops. And what the homework exactly is, I will just tell you a little bit later. Let's go back to Syriza. Yeah, I think that's possible because uh, this design is not that difficult. It's just uh, a fun design, something, uh, something that you can use directly in the salon. Uh, and you don't need too much 
to make this nail or maybe one or two nails, maybe 10 of them, uh, you have to charge your price because uh, you use a lot of different products and that takes time, of course, and uh, you are the one with inspiration. So uh, don't forget to ask a little bit more than a regular set of nails. And uh, I think you can manage, you can also make it on shorties, but we're going to talk about that later. Um, my model is fully cured. And now I have this uh, covering product on the nail. It looks a little bit smoky. I love that. And you can do two things because I'm going to use this nice flakes, the chameleon flakes. And these are the, um, is the last edition that we have. The unicorn, we have. Flakes? unicorn flakes, thank you. And this you can use in the sticky layer or you can add a little bit of uh, base, and um, base and top or uh, or building base, clear. I hope my sound is working right now. And I'm going to use a detailer three to catch this uh, this flakes. And I'm going to place it on this black. So are you going to apply flakes to the sticky surface of the nail? Yeah. Or are you adding some clear product? You can uh, you can do both. It's, it's it depends a little bit on the stickiness of the product. So I know this has a, a very good sticky layer, the blush. So it stays in place. And I love this really uh, yeah, bigger parts. Sabine is already saying in the comments that she loves the chameleon flakes. Oh, yeah. I think we all need flakes in our lives. If so life too. was only as beautiful as a flake, <laughs> I would <laughs> love to be a flake flaking around. <laughs> Okay, so you see that I add not uh, uh, the flakes not on the whole nail, but I leave little parts of black, and I'm only using it uh, around the center of the uh, in the center of the nail. Very nice. Okay, and I cure it a little bit extra, so that I know uh, for sure that everything sticks on this uh, on the surface. And then we're going to continue with this beautiful red color. Yeah, Alexandra also says in the comments, oh, wow, my favorite flakes with little hearts in her eyes. Henriette, who's of course here. Hello, Henriette. She says, these flakes are just need to have or a total must have. Also because with one little jar of flakes, it lasts you a long time. Yeah. Except when you have to sneeze and the jars open. <laughs> Be careful because it's very thin and it can float around in your nail studio. These are not microplastics, of course, but just you can use those in any design. I don't know if you can see it properly, but I what I love from these flakes is that they, they have uh, it has very big pieces, almost like broken glass. And it's kind of silvery, but this is the difference between these flakes and the chameleon flakes. And I love these bigger parts, yeah. These are my favorites. Okay. We're going back to the nail. Emela also just <laughs> turned in. So Magda is watching us, Henriette. Nadia is doing translations into Danish. Uh, Bianca is doing translations into German. Oh, nice. I see Sabine, some of the girls of Sabine. So it's a, a lot of fun to see all of you here in the comments. And don't forget to do your homework or to inspire others to do their homework. Okay, we're going back to this like mirror-like nail. And I'm going to use this uh, uh, Blush Revenge. And I'm just following Beautiful. the first uh, application. Oh, it totally changes the whole outlook of the nail. Yeah, don't you like it? Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Okay, this is the first layer. <coughs> and of course you can... Um, uh, you can go over this black, that's absolutely no problem. And we can add a little bit more black later on. Okay, this is the first one. And now I'm going back to Cure. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, this is the first layer and um, uh, you have to think about it because uh, you you are going to create this like milk bath effect or blood bath effect or oil bath effect. I don't know <laughs> how I should use it, how, how I should call it because it's not this white, but a very nice like winter edition. This is what I love, or Christmas edition. Yeah, it's, it's really fitting to this uh, season because of course we have Christmas and New Year's behind us, so the overwhelming glittery effect 
is already done and over. We want something a little bit more demure, a little bit more sedated, but still dark and sexy. Because on these cold nights, we need to find our inner vamp and just show our sexy side uh, to ourselves. <laughs> um, let's go to the first round of homework for all of you, because I think you want to know what you need to do. So, normally I say make a screenshot because this is the homework as assignment. One, two, three, screenshot! <laughs> so the homework <laughs> assignment is create a matching set or five nails or color pops with this deep hybrid effect. So really the effect of the depth of the nail. Combine at least two different technical products like acrylics, gels, power gel or builders in a bottle. So, five nails. These five nails have to form a set. It has to match. There has to be a sense of coherency in this set. When you create those five nails on a model or on tips, of course you make photos, you make step-by-step -step photos, and you make a an, an final photo of your end result. And we need all of those photos, the step-by-step -step photos and the final result, because that is needed when you upload your homework. How to do that, you'll see in this slide. Everyone gets two weeks to upload your homework. The deadline is on January 24th. Upload your homework using the link that you can find in the album Blush Meets Power Gel Almond. If you do not upload your homework using this link, you will not receive your e-certificate. If something needs improvement, Jessica Patberg, our international trainer, will contact you and you will get another chance to participate. Do not forget to submit your step-by-step -step photos and one final photo showing all of your homework together. So also with this slide, one, two, three, screenshot. You have to find the link in the album in the group. Well, that's kind of difficult for some people, but here you see the Neil Talk Live group. You can also see in the top of the group the caption album and then you click that and you go to the e-workshops. In this album you find the product and the comments. In the comments section you will find the link that you can use to upload your homework. So, sounds a little bit tricky, but this is how we do it. When you do that, after two weeks you will get your feedback and you will receive your e-certificate, but everybody also has a chance to win a beautiful and spectacular prize. And tonight, because it's the very first time that we do this e-workshop international, the prize is the new blush display, the complete collection of six sinful blushes, two different types of chameleon flakes and power gel clear, because it's the power gel and the blush that makes this hybrid nail sing. This will be sent to you from our headquarters, so it, it depends on the distance. It may take a little bit longer than one or two days, but it will come to you. And this is how you can build your collection of products and can show, and we will also show the winners, of course, in the group and also in the next e-workshops. Speaking of the next e-workshops, let's have a look at what we will have in stock for you for the next couple of weeks. Tonight, the very first Ceriza. Next week on Wednesday, it's Milena, and Milena is in Holland, our gel polish expert. And she will show us gel polish tips and tricks, but focused on doing these tips and tricks in the refill of the gel polish. So the client comes back three, four weeks later, and her nails have to be refilled with gel polish. How to do this? What are the tips and tricks? A week later, Joanna from Ireland is joining us for the very first time and Joanna is going to show us different types of doing ombre technique or fading technique with different types of gel polishes. Glass gel polishes, traditional gel polishes, perhaps mixed with another product and I'm very curious to see what Joanna, well I had a sneak peek, but I think you will love what Joanna has ready for us. And to end this month, Jessica, our top trainer, our international trainer, is joining me and she's going to do gel polish basic techniques for nail art. So basic nail art techniques with gel polish that you can immediately use in your salon or with your students to show them the different possibilities of gel polish. And we do all of this because gel polish is in the month of January our product of the month you will get a 20% discount on all of the gel polish shades, not only in the Netherlands, but throughout 
Europe and the rest of the world, you can find your favorite magnetic distributor and discover even more colors in the magnetic gel polish range. So this is my general information. Let's go back to Syriza because I think you all want to see what is the next step. That was a lot, Pepine, but I think for you it's very clear now what you have to do in order to get your certificate, so keep up. I have my model back and she's uh, completely cured, and now I'm going to show you how you can play with the, uh, with the blushes. I'm going to try to find my focus, yeah. And I take a second layer of the blush revenge, and then you can see that you can play around with these colors. You can see the darker version and the lighter version and it already gives a little bit more depth so I think for this design I love to make to give it an um, extra layer and you don't need to add this product uh, all over the nail but take only the center part and then a little bit more blush you can build with it that's absolutely no problem curing is going to be very easy and cure and for the next step, I'm going to create uh, even more depth with blush greets. Okay, before we go to the next step, I see an interesting question from Evelyn, and she's asking how will the winner be judged? And Magda already says, well, uh, these, these will be chosen by the trainer giving the e-workshop, I believe. Yes, this is how it goes. Jessica um, controls the home, whole homework department, so that's quite a lot of work. She gets all of the homework in and does the first check. Are all the photos there? Is the assignment done? Has the homework been done correctly? And she will then discuss with the trainer of the e-workshop the top, the top um, submitters or the, uh, the, top, uh, the, the top homework. I'm, I'm not lost for a word, but <laughs> that will come to me. So Jessica will get in contact with the trainer giving the e-workshop and will discuss with the trainer the different people or the different uh, pieces that has been sent in, the homework that has been made, and then the top three will be chosen and the top three will receive the prize. Jessica will also give you feedback in order to get your um, application even better or your homework done even better is if it needs a little bit of tweaking. So even when you have a little bit of experience and you just want to participate in this e-workshop, feel free. You don't have to be a top-notch super professional. You can also start at, at a slightly more basic level and work your way up. That has been one of the great things for me personally doing these shows now for years and years is to see the development of newly beginning nail technicians to super strong ambassadors, trainers, um, real, real lovers of this beautiful profession. So you can really grow and we take that also into consideration. So that's how we do that. I heard a little beep, so mm. let's go back to Syriza. Yes, of course, the next step. We're going to have a look at the nail because the nail looks a little bit crooked right now. Uh, as you can see, uh, left and right on this stress point, uh, you can see that uh, I alre already have uh, yeah, a lot of product, so this is going to be okay. You can see that it's on the top it looks a little bit crooked, but no problem because this, this is going to be alright. This is just playing. Playing and make your design. I'm going to use the blush greet. And that's the black blush? The black blush, yes. Okay. And I'm going to apply it again close to the cuticle. And then I'm going to cover a little bit of the nail, left and right. Don't try to work too neat. Just give it a... Uh, uh, this is the art art artistic, how can I say that? Uh, the artistic, artistic, the artistic, <laughs> an artistic <laughs> approach <laughs> to applying yeah. black. Yeah, the artistic part of the nail, because now you can see what you prefer. Uh, for example, if you see this position, you can see a little bit of this red underneath, even more red over here. So it's uh, it looking it's looking like a highlight. And I'm going to blend with my detailer tree and a little bit of the building base clear. But you can also use uh, base and top or rubber base clear, not a problem at all. 
if I want to uh, uh, to show the the red pieces a little bit more, I just have to wipe it away, and there it is. But I find uh, uh, like uh, I want to make a mysterious design, so I think this is going to be okay. Very cool. And Daisy Boat also says in the comments, all will be all right. And this is always the case with you, Syriza. <laughs> and you yeah. stay so calm always. Well, she's not that calm before we start, though. <laughs> and she <laughs> runs around here. <laughs> and Magda also <laughs> adds that you can ask all of your questions. There are no stupid questions or there are no questions that are not worth asking. Because if you are having a question, the chance is great that somebody else is also having that question. So just ask your questions. We will try to explain as best as possible. And feel free also to contact me through Messenger or Syriza or Jessica through yeah. Messenger. And we will help you also after the e-workshop, whether it's in doing your homework, whether it's about different products of magnetic nail design or ideas that you have for e-workshops, Feel absolutely free and we will take your input, your feedback and that make that a part of Nail Talk Live International. Yeah. And I'm sure that over the weeks my English will improve <laughs> and it will go a lot smoother also. So, um, it's now back in the lamp or in the yeah. twin light. What's yeah. the next step? Yeah, we, we can have a look at the structure of the nail because uh, it's changing every time. So, uh, let's see. And I think over the shoulder, uh, look. <laughs> so you can see it, it, it's a little bit, uh, like it has a little bit more structure right now, but not the complete um, strength. So I think I'm going to use one more layer to play around with, but you have to pay attention of the thickness of the nail. So don't build, 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 and later you have to file everything down. So try to uh, try to watch this. Okay, this is now a little bit uh, uh, dark red, a little bit of black. So uh, now I'm going to add a little bit more of the flakes. So we're going to start the whole process again, but then a little bit less than the first round. Because and you don't want to completely cover that away. Because yeah. of course the yeah. flake is like a mirror. Yeah. And if you apply a mirror on top of a mirror, you only see one mirror. Yeah, true. But you have to play around with it. Don't try to uh, hide all the black pieces because those are, uh, yeah, I think uh, amazing. Magda says, oh, we love filing. And Jessica yep. is saying, ooh la la, Syriza, already so mysterious. <laughs> oh, wow. Very cool. So I think this is just about enough. And these, uh, these flakes are going to be uh, more bright. Yeah, yeah, so we have black, dark red, a little bit red. So this is going to cure. And then, of course, we're going to use, again, the Blush Revenge. So as you can see, you only need a couple of products that you use uh, uh, in, a, in a special way. And then you have something, you can create something really nice. Yeah, Dianta is saying, oh, I love it. I can't wait to see the results. And I think the same goes for you. You can see that when you use all of your products together, you can really create out-of-the-box effects. Some of them will be more wearable than others. Uh, some uh, markets demand more technical approach, more stunning nail art, and other markets more perfection in, for instance, the manicuring surface. But all of this comes together in Nail Talk Live, in the international shows, also in the Dutch shows. Something that I need to mention to all of you is that Gillian will uh, render and upload all of the or this video of this specific e-workshop on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, this Friday. Our YouTube channel is Magnetic Nail Talk. Magnetic Nail Talk. And on YouTube, you can choose subtitles. And Gillian will make sure that by uploading time on Friday, he will have translated this show, and he will do this every week. So this e-workshop with French subtitles, Italian subtitles, German subtitles, enabling you or people that aren't fluent in English to have a look at the e-workshop with subtitles in your own language while still giving you enough time to create your homework, submit it and make a chance to win these prizes. Isn't that fantastic? The world is changing and Nail Talk Live is also changing. Let's go back to the tech table. Yeah, I'm so proud to be here because, yeah, it's just magnetic, you know, we do everything and it's, it's amazing and I, I couldn't think of this. 
uh, a couple of years ago. So it's amazing. Okay, we're going to uh, we're going to the last layer, and now I'm using the same color. Also, you can try to play a little bit around with different colors um, and see what uh, the effect is, the results. Okay, we're going back, and then I'm adding a little bit more red on these flakes, and then you can see that it's really pink right now, too pink for my taste, so I'm going to add more. It's just playing around, and every design is different, so every time it's going to look different. I love this well, darker pink. I think now it's amazing, and also I think I need a little bit more, uh, more black in the ends. But as you can see, I'm still, uh, it's still the uh, the correct height. Okay, cure, and then I'm going back to black for the last time. While we are curing, I already already mentioned that it's the product of the month, and the product of the month is gel polish. If you've already tried magnetic gel polish, I'm convinced that you're totally in love with the best gel polish in the world, but we have a lot of gel polishes. We search for years and years, and it's an immer ever going on search to find the perfect viscosity, the perfect coverage, and the perfect color palette for you, the nail technician. But let's have a look at the beautiful magnetic gel polishes. So, 20% discount on the magnetic gel polishes, the entire range, not only in the Netherlands, not only with us, but also with our distributors throughout Europe and the rest of the world. 20% discount. If you want to find our distributors, either for products or for classes, go to magneticnaildesign.com, click on distributors, and you will find a total overview of the different countries where we're in and where we have distributors that are really happy and ready to support you with the beautiful products or education. Uh, the, um, the, the product of the month <laughs> is the gel polish collection. So it is, is excluding blush. Blush will be later in the year the product of the month. There was a question about that. Let's go back to the tech table and see what is going to be back to black. <laughs> back to black, yeah. Thank you, here I am. Uh, of course, this is just your uh, uh, your imagination and your creativity. So I'm looking, I think, okay, maybe a little bit more black. I'm just going to do this because I have uh, this, the, um, uh, the good thing about blush is that, especially this blush, is that you can um, blend very easy. Again, a little bit of black, not too much because I want to uh, uh, keep this low light, this highlights. A little bit of building base on my detailer tree, as you can see. So this is just building base clear? A little bit of building base clear, okay. but you also can use base on top. Uh, for me, the rubber base is a little bit to stir. So I use this building base clear. And I'm adding a little bit to this black. And then you see that you get a very easy smoky effect. The blending is very easy. Okay, uh, close to the cuticle, I I'm going to add a little bit more uh, of the uh, black blush, but without the building base clear, so this is pure color. So you clean your brush, I just wiping brush. it on the brush wipe or a nail wipe, mm, yeah. and then taking uh, up a little bit of blush uh, greed. Yeah, 
because this is the last time that I'm going to uh, use the Could you black. also do the cuticle detailing with, for instance, black as black gel polish of to course. get an even sharper and blacker line? Yeah, that uh, you can do that, but also then you also can see the difference between the uh, black as black and uh, the blush green, I think. I, I don't try it, but... I see that I a know. lot of distributors are sharing your web shops and your websites in the comments. Super great that you do this. You cannot click on a comment and then go through that comment to your website. So you can share also this show or by Friday, you can also share the YouTube version of this show, the e-workshop with your own subtitles. So check to see whether or not your language is one of the first language that we're doing for the subtitling, and then you can re-upload it with your website um, uh, put in the comments or in the, the text with the upload. And then it will be perhaps even more effective. Gemma is asking, Sriza, isn't the nail getting a little bit thick this way or do you need to file the nail? Yeah, you can. Yeah. I'm here in the studio. I'm here in the studio. You only can see this camera view, and it always looks a little bit too much. Uh, in reality, this is just about enough. It needs a little bit more uh, of the power gel to give it strength and to cap everything. Uh, but I think this is quite okay, uh, and especially because the uh, blushes are also builders and give strength to the nail. Uh, for example, if you use only gel polish layers, then you have a little bit of a product uh, problem. Uh, with the strength of the nail, but I think for now I have a good combination of blush and power gel. But this is a very good question because you have to be careful uh, that you uh, uh, don't have enough space for your power gel because I really need this extra strength. So, good question. Yeah, and I made a mistake because I said that you cannot click a link in a comment, but Magda, you're correcting me. Thank you, Magda. You see, I'm not a real social animal, not a social media animal, because you can click on the links in the comments. So I'm also sending you now in the comments, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. So send, we can do that. I need to do that a little bit more often in the Dutch version, I'll try to remember. Um, so that's cool. Let's go back to Syriza, but I just had to answer Magda's or, or get Magda's feedback live for you. Yeah, and then Pepine, please learn me how you can do that because it never works with me, but maybe we'll see. Uh, okay, I have power gel clear. You can work from a tube or uh, 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 from a jar. You also can, let me see, file it a little bit and use an acrylic. Try, try to play around with it. But for this length, you should uh, use a builder or a builder gel, of course, that's no problem, but a hard gel, not uh, a gel from a bottle. You can do that if you make sure the nails. Um, this is very hard because uh, normally you always take too much power gel. This is something that is just in, in your system. I think everybody understands what I mean. So this is very hard to see how much product I need. But uh, let's have a look. I'm going to place the product on the highest point of the nail. And you can see that I have this cutting side of the spatula on the center of the nail. And then I'm rolling my product on top of the nail, uh, not really in a in a in a in a in a beat, but in a like slightly. So uh, Gillian is asking me in my ear. Yeah. Uh, when you cap the nail with clear, like you do with the clear power gel, mm -hmm. the nail will always remain in the same thickness of the colored application, or is it okay when you file through the color a little bit, correcting your shape? Uh, ah, yeah, that's a very good one. This is a very hard one because, of course, when you like the design before you're going to add the power gel clear, if you like the design exactly as it is, uh, you should uh, stay on top of this uh, builder gel. This is really important. If you file through the color and the flakes, uh, you have to correct it later. Um, but it's very easy to do because you can do that with a little bit of black uh, greed sorry, blush greed, or blush revenge, or maybe a little flake that you've cut away. Um, but it, yeah, I, I hope it doesn't it don't happen when I'm going to file. This is, the, uh, this is my mission, so 
Fingers crossed. We will see that when she starts filing or when yeah. she finishes filing. Yeah. Nicole is asking, do we have to make an almond shape? Well, it doesn't need to be almond nails because you're allowed to do it on either color pops or on yeah. a model. So the shape is up to your preference. And Joanna just thinks it's awesome what you're making. Oh, thank you, Joanna. Well, you are next. Oh, no, no, the one after that. So uh, uh, it's really nice to do. And I, yeah, I cannot wait to see you as well. Okay, this looks like a little bit too much product, I know, but I need this product uh, for the whole nail. So we're going to start here. And, uh, and this um, is giving the nail muscle strength. Yeah, true, completely. And of course, I have to cap it in order to... Uh, You're using prep and wipe, and which yeah. brush are you using, an acrylic brush? Yeah, I'm always using pres uh, Prestige 10 brush. Uh, it's an acrylic brush, but I really love this brush also to uh, um, to applying uh, uh, power gel. This is a brush that is really strong. It has a, a strong hair. And it's so it's the Prestige big. number 10. Yeah. Because Alexandra is asking what number is this brush. Oh, and yeah. And Sabine is mentioning that this is a beautiful pancake. Oh, yeah. They know Please the pancake. Please explain what she means <laughs> with that. Yeah, yeah. This is the pancake. That's correct. <laughs> Okay, we already saw uh, while we're making the design that uh, in this area we already had a lot of product left and right. So that means that I'm not going to build up too much in this area. And I'm using the belly of my brush to take the power gel with me. And you can see, can see the different angles of the brush because my first angle was a little bit uh, uh, pointed to the nail like this. And then while I'm working... You're actually using different parts of the hair of the brush yeah. in order to make the sculpting of the surface easier. So True. you start with the tip, you work towards the belly and then to the shaft of the brush, just creating the desired shape yeah. of the upper arch of the nail. Completely true. And as you can see, I'm working a little bit strange because normally, of course, you have to uh, uh, get the support uh, with your finger, but in a strange way, I know that you can see it better if I work like this. So this is just for you. Of course, <laughs> normally take this, take this finger and support your hands while you're working. But it gives a little bit shadow, so I'm not going to do it like this. Okay, and now you can see that I can just follow the design and it's just another layer. And yeah, I think a little bit too much product, but we can see that while uh, when we are filing. I had another interesting questions, a question from Gil. He was asking, does the power gel get a little bit harder in the jar because it's so cold here at the moment? Because in Holland, well, we're complaining that it's very cold. It's <laughs> minus five. It is nothing compared to Denmark, for instance. <laughs> yeah. It's only minus five, but we are very cold. So the product also becomes a little bit colder and that means that the viscosity gets higher. So it becomes a little bit um, more, well, not so much difficult to work with it, but you can apply a little bit more pressure onto the power gel, which is actually great. I love it when I can really press it in there. <laughs> Yeah, that's completely true. I was just talking with my with my colleague and best friend. That's also my uh, uh, my model for the for the night, and she already told me like um, in, in this this morning or it was this morning, right? Yes. <laughs> this morning I was working in the salon and I had a client and she wanted to have a set of power gel nails, and it was just impossible to use my uh, acrylic brush. Well, it's a very cold uh, uh, area where she's working. Uh, but I can imagine, for example, if you have the power gel sparkle pink or sparkle white, and that is also almost impossible to work with. And, and it feels a little bit the same. It's so stir. How do you say that? Stir, right? It's so tough. Yeah, tough. It, it like is, it's very hard. strong at the moment. Um, I have a question from Naomi or Connor. Can it also be kept in gel? Yes, you can do the capping of the nail with any technical product that creates and gives strength to the nail. So this can be gel, this can be a power gel, it can even be an acrylic if you prefer. So a strong product because this is now giving the structure that leads to a durable surface. Because the blush in between is a little bit more soft, a little bit more flexible, and this is quite a long nail. And when you want to create length, you will need durability and 
stability. And to get the stability in the nail, you will need a product that cures to a more tightly knit molecular structure, a harder product. So gel, power gel, acrylics, um, pick your choice. Yeah, for example, if you love to work with a gel, for me it's a little bit difficult to work with gel because I s I'm, I'm not working with gel that much. Uh, but if you work with gel, it's very nice to work o uh, almost like non-filing uh, if you prefer. So it's just another layer and then hold it upside down and correct it. So it's just what you prefer. Uh, so it's your choice, but try to mix and match. We have a whole weather forecast throughout Europe. In Sweden, it's minus 26 in the town where Pernilla lives. Um, Nadia is saying that it's so cold that the roads are pure ice in some places. Henriette, we've seen this on Insta, but we, she, we all will also read it. We have minus 16 degrees and last week we got 40 centimeters of snow in only 24 hours. I think if that happens in Holland, <laughs> then the whole economy just stops. <laughs> yeah. In Bulgaria, it's also very cold. It was minus 20 in Estonia. Marina is telling us, Marina, of course, uh, Marina Fialco, magnetic Baltic. In France, it's also cold. But then, of course, Anna Maria Montroselli comes around the corner <laughs> and says, you will have to come to Roma because it's plus 13 and we can have pasta <laughs> over there. So it depends on what we want. In Iceland, the name tells us it's very cold, but it's only my, it's, well, it's plus seven degrees, actually. Oh, okay. So, the world is changing, the seasons are changing, and we are changing with this. Uh, Daisy says this international e-workshop is so cool, I'm loving it. Well, thank you, Daisy, and I hope the same goes for all of you. But in the next weeks, months, we will put the little dots on the eyes that are missing. <laughs> I'm ready. So this is a special part uh, for this uh, uh, international version of an e-life workshop. All those different countries and all that different faces and you are all great. So thank you for watching and keep on watching, please. Filing. I'm just opening the nail, uh, the nail well not opening, I'm see if, if it's stuck underneath of course. Maybe we have a little bit of a problem here on the left, but don't worry because we still have this um, blush uh, greets to fix this. Okay, you can see that we have an uh, almond nail. Uh, in the beginning, it looks a little bit more like a stiletto, but when you build up the nail, it's going to be just fine. So first, we're going to file shape. Of course, after I take, uh, take off the sticky layer, eh? And you see uh, when I'm filing, I'm just taking the left and the right part and I make this almost straight movements. And I don't pay too much attention on the uh, point of the nail. May also joined us and says, oh. since we are not talking about nails at this moment, because it was a European Nail Talk Live weather channel, as <laughs> was said a little bit earlier, she wants to say how fantastic it is for May and for us all to see how many different nationalities are watching this yeah. show. It's also heartwarming for me, of course. And thank you, May, for your sweet words. Um, yeah, so filing. So you are working through a very specific filing plan? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm always uh, start with the shape of the nail. And for an almond nail, it's just like a, a V-shape, almost like a nail bed. It's left and right, and I always take this uh, straight filing uh, uh, motions like this and I don't pay too much attention on the end of the nail on the yeah the, the, the end part of the nail so you always can see this V and especially when you leave the uh, the filing dust behind it's um, it's more vis uh, visible you see I yeah. stay left and right especially when you are using these darker colors and you can see that I, that I make this V shape and in the end, when I think left and right is uh, in, yeah, like like a, a mirror mirroring, left and right the same. If you think you reach that point, then you are going to file the end of the nail. See, so then you have the shape. I always I always call this the shape, front view, and then I'm going to the lower arch. This is the second part, and this is the over the shoulder, um, yeah this you see that I had a lot to file you can see it in this position 
And I try to find my lower arch. And lower arch is always a little bit straight. And then the point is slightly up. Naomi Spider. says she finds the nail already gorgeous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, wait for the end result. This is quite a classic shape. I love classic shapes. Yeah. We will do also e-workshops about the difference between classic and modern shapes. We will go really into the depth of the nail, not only visually, but also on a technical and intellectual level. So these Wednesday evenings, we're going to fill with everything we know about nails. And that's not only Theresa and myself, but that's a whole team of magnetic trainers. Of course, Jaap and me that are still into the nails and all of our distributors and trainers that I will invite to be here in the e-workshop and sit at the tech table, sharing knowledge, sharing our passion, because that is what we do and that makes magnetic magnetic. I still hear filing. Yeah, I'm going to the next step. I was just wiping off the dust, but then it's not visible anymore uh, what, what, what I was doing. So uh, it was the shape, it was the lower arch, and now I'm going to file the, uh, the top of the nail. And when I'm filing the top of the nail, I always start with my file on the, uh, on the filing. Um, uh, yeah, where you can see what I file. Okay, uh, maybe over the shoulder, uh, Gil, so then I can show it. This p you can see that I filed uh, yeah. right here. And this is also the part where I start to file the top of the nail, like this. So your file path of shape filing Thank the you. nail, yeah. that is where you're going to take it up to the middle of the nail. Yeah, to the middle, uh, and I'm starting on the bottom left, and I'm trying to uh, uh, take it to the top right. Okay, wait, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I place my file in this position. This is where I start, and my filing is very soft, like a polishing. Uh, what polishing is the grid movement. that you're using? Uh, now I use 180, but normally I use 150. Both are okay. And now I'm slowly um, um, changing the position of the file, and the file is now going to. Uh, step by step is going to the upper right of the nail. Maybe if I see it on top view right now, you can see that I'm moving that way. So I started here. Can we see? If, can you remove the dust to see exactly which part you already filed? So you filed the left side from the sidewall line up to the middle part of the nail. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Cool. And you can see the stripes that I'm moving in this direction. And you saw this really like flat piece of nail uh, after the first filing steps. But now, if you're looking over the shoulder, you can see that it already started to get more rounds. Yeah, it gets a nice curvature. Yeah. This is just the first part. I'm not finished at all. Elvira or Elvira is asking, is this the corset of the nail that you're filing? Yeah. This is not the corset of the nail. This is the... the um, the direction is like a corset. So when I'm filing, I'm uh, going to uh, start here, the bottom left, and I'm going to the right side, and then uh, later on, from the bottom right, I'm going to upper left. So this is my, uh, uh, this is the position of filing. Like laces in shoes, yeah. for instance. Thank you. That's what you mean with the corset, corset of the nail. Yeah. Now I understand. Well, yeah. that's enlightening. Thank you, Elvira. <laughs> Okay, this is the first part, and this is the, uh, uh, for me, I'm right-handed, is the easiest part, because this feels natural. And now I have to file from the, uh, from the other way around. So the uh, position of the file, not the position, the position of my hand, uh, when I filed from left to right, I have my thumb yeah. on the top of the file. And to stabilize now the file? I'm have m I have my uh, index finger on the top of the file. Okay. I'm starting in the same position. Yeah. So outside of the nail. Outside of the nail. Working yeah. your way towards the center. Yeah. And when people try this, they do this. <laughs> yeah, but you have to take your time. Yeah, it's not like peeling an orange. No. <laughs> it, it's really Easy. filing your, taking steps to the center. Yeah. 
and baby steps because this baby step baby steps uh, helps me to get this nice smooth surface and always end your uh, motion in upward uh, movement and deliberately deliberately you're leaving the apex and the cuticle area for yeah. later and take them together yeah then I'm going to connect this, uh, I always call this my uh, hand filing part, because yeah. normally I, uh, I I'm taking these steps on 10 nails, and then in this position I'm, um, I'm going to change to my electric file, mm -hmm. and I'm going to uh, connect those two parts. Okay, so left and right, so the right side is a little bit difficult, that's why I try to do as much to the right. And then only this last piece, I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to work from right to left. And then, of course, I have the tip of the nail. And I'm going to file on top of the nail like this. I don't know if you can see it a little bit better on the other camera. I don't know. I don't know. But this is the tip of the nail, the top of the nail. Sorry. Okay, a little bit of the shape, of course. While you are perfecting the surface of the nail, perhaps it's smart that we do the homework one more time, yeah. just so that it's clear in, in your memory. So the homework to participate in this very first international e-work shop is shown on screen now. Take a screenshot if you want. Your homework assignment is create a matching set of five nails or color pops in the by you desired shape showing this deep hybrid effect and that's the layering inside the nail of course we will see that better when we apply the top gel but we really want to see the depth in the nail you need to combine at least two different technical products and these can be acrylics gels power gels builders in a bottle gel polish you choose your perfect hybrid combination and perhaps also we learn from that combination because of course that would be utterly perfect uh, when you create your homework, it's important to have your telephone next to you because you need to make step-by-step -step photos and one final photo that shows all of your homework together. You will have two weeks to create your homework and then you have to upload that homework into the album that you can find in this International Nail Talk Live group, the album called Blush Meets Power Gel Almond. Do not upload your homework any other way than using the link that you can find in the album. Because then you get into our system. Here you see where the album is located in the group. Click on that, then the album opens itself. And when it opens, you will see a list, a short list now, of the different e-workshops. Go choose the correct one, go to comment, open it, and then you will see where you can upload your homework. This is an autom automated and automatic process that makes it easier for us to handle all of the homework of the Dutch shows, but also now the international shows. Jessica is the moderator of the whole homework e-learning platform. She will give you feedback and if needed, give you a second chance to create your homework. And then she will contact the trainer that gives the e-workshop to decide whether or not you have the right to get your e-certificate because you really have to earn that e-certificate and from everybody that sends in and participates their homework, they also choose the winners. The winners are chosen by the trainers of the e-workshop in question. And those winners, of course, get a great prize. We love to give away prizes. The blush, the new blush display, and this is comes filled to you with the whole Sinful Blushes collection, six different shades, two types of chameleon flakes, and because it's hybrid, of course, power gel clear. So you are able to make this nail and many different versions of these nails with the products that you receive as a thank you and a prize for participating in this e-workshop. So we will send the prizes from headquarters directly to your doorstep. And of course, we love to see an unboxing or to see how you use the products when you receive them, because that is just the little cherry on the cake. A lot of them, e-workshops. Of course, we have more e-workshops in January and the rest of the year, because next week it's Milena, our gel polish expert, sharing all of her tips and tricks when it comes to refilling gel polish nails. 
Gel polish is easily the most used surface, the most offered, used, uh, offered surface in the nail studio worldwide. And Milana is a great nail tech. She really takes 45 minutes per client, has a very successful nail studio here in Holland. And I'll talk more about and with Milana next week. The week after, Joanna from Ireland is coming to Holland and she's going to be the first time or she will be in, e, in the e-workshop for the very first time. Of course, Joanna is very active on socials and Joanna is going to take us into the world of ombre or fading techniques with gel polishes. Another of those techniques that are really demanded worldwide by the clients in the nail studio. And to finish this month, Jessica is here, because Jessica, our absolute top trainer, our Dutch queen of nail art, is going to show you and us the gel polish art, nail art basics. So the basic techniques that you can immediately use in your salon, on your clients. Super effective and just a lot of fun to do that together with Jessica. You see a lot of gel polish being used. That's not only because it's the most used product in the nail studio, wherever you go in the world, but also because January is the month of the product of the month gel polish. So get to know magnetic gel polish or make your assortment, your range bigger. Choose more colors. Be prepared for spring and summer because this month you will get 20% discount on the whole range of gel polishes, not only in the Netherlands, but also with our distributors throughout Europe and outside of Europe. Magnetic gel polish, simply the best, is the only thing that I can say about the magnetic gel polish. Well, I can say a lot about magnetic gel polish, but it's better to have a look at our latest collection, the Makeup Collection by Magnetic. We chose the name Makeup Essentials with a reason because these colors are essential in your nail studio. Warm, very posh colors, a little bit chic, glamorous, and then with the matching glitter which are overwhelmingly sparkling, not only with Christmas or with candlelight, but can you imagine how they will sparkle in the sunlight? Can you imagine minus 20, blue sky, sun, and then glittering nails? That's just the essence of beauty. Beautiful colors, 20% discount on the whole range. Are you as curious as I am to see the result of the nail that Cherisa made? Well, we cannot wait. Let's go there. I am back, ready for the next step. And this is a, uh, this I'm going to do with the um, Expert Bit Medium. I always have to think about the name. That's very strange. Uh, Expert Bit Medium. And this is a, a special bit. I'm going to show it to you. This is a bit uh, what um, where you can file the um, the shape of the nail with. So you can 
remove product from a nail with this bit but mm, it's better to get the product in shape and it's also very handy at uh, this pointy area but are you going to use cuticle. it in a specific area of the nail or can you use this for the whole nail surface you can use this for the whole nail surface and i'm going to what i like is to use my hand file uh, to shape the nail uh, mm -hmm. for example to make all the the elements uh, correct and the same. The lower arch, of course, because you cannot file the lower arch. You can no. file the lower arch with it, but don't try it at home or just try it on yourself and not on your clients. Uh, but I love to connect the cuticle area apex uh, with the uh, elongation of the nail. But of course, you can file a little bit with your hand file and then uh, complete it with this bit. But I'm going to show you that. And this is something you have to try because everybody know how you can work with this bit around the cuticle. I think a lot of you know. And I'm pointing the finger a little bit down so that it's easy for me to get the right angle of the bit. Perhaps we can also see a side shot because then we can see how the nail is angled downward yeah. and how the file is holded or the expert bit. And I'm sorry, Gillian, because he cannot stand the sound of electric filing. Sorry. It brings him, him to the dentist's office. <laughs> but now you can see that you're only using the tip. The tip you're not yes. pushing into the natural nail. You're staying on top of the artificial surface. Yeah, true. And, and I'm massaging the products, blending it into the natural nail. But exactly how you should blend the tip. So only on the products. Using the point of the bit. And this is to get this perfect seal around the cuticle. This was the tip of the bit and now i'm going to change the angle of the bit a little bit uh a little bit yeah down a little bit more ho horizontally perhaps yeah or the true the back side of the bit goes down a little bit a little bit yeah and i'm also going to take a step down uh, uh on the nail we have these bits available in medium and in coarse but also in left and in right-handed versions so available for every single nail tech with any demand so as you can see i'm going to remove a little bit of dust as you can see this area oh <laughs> in this area you already have this perfect uh height you can see a little bit of the apex area over here that needs a little bit of filing and again i'm going to change the angle of the bit do you really absolutely need this this bit in this part of the filing or could you also do this by hand? You also can do this by hand, uh, but it's, uh, um, it's harder for your body <laughs> and it's easy to, uh, to cut the client with your file. But of course, that's no problem. You can do this by hand and I'm going to show it to you. Yeah, the main benefit for me as an old-fashioned nail tech... <coughs> sorry, that was to punctuate what I want to say. Yeah? This is just <laughs> to emphasize it. But that is that um, using this around the cuticle area is a lot easier than having to use a hand file. And especially when you did a commi manicure or an extensive manicuring surface, the skin may be a little bit sensitive. And now using this bit, the expert bit, you're not touching anything except the artificial product. So it's a very comfortable uh, uh, way of filing over there. So Daisy, don't be afraid of this. Just practice on your own hands and take it gently. Don't put it full force in the beginning. Just gentle steps, baby steps, and you will get there. Yeah, because now I only have, uh, let me see, 35, it's like 15 to 20 uh, RPM. And this is a perfect uh, speed to try it. And what, I'm, what I am doing is I'm making this uh, uh, round motions. This is a little bit too big. Of course, I do this in a smaller way. So what is the RPM? 15 to 20,000? Yeah. Because and this is a guess, eh? so you also can use, uh, I, I think, uh, from 10. And then you can work your way up if you are uh, more experienced. Okay, so now I have this, uh, the, the area of the, of the apex, of course, over here. And then left and right, if you have too much product, you can use your bit like this, left and right. And then when you want to file the whole <laughs> surface of the nail, it can work like this and the sides. And you don't take 
a bite out of the needle surface. No. It stays smooth. Yeah, because I'm just floating on the um, um, on the surface, touching it, don't touching it. It's a little bit in between. And so you can work. Uh, uh, you you can do this on ten nails and then the complete nail, and that's uh, a lot of practicing, of course to get comfortable with it, but if you start with only the cuticle area and then bit by bit a little bit more, then in the end you get comfortable with it and then you can uh, uh, um, you can change it in, okay, I'm going to do everything with an electric file, but this is just uh, practicing. Okay, for example, if you don't have an electric file, you have to file the cuticle area with a hand file. And this goes like this. Start from the center. Take baby steps to the left, and then you're filing um, to the point that you think, okay, now the product has the correct height. And of course, after uh, using a bit, I always use a hand file. To, uh, I'm looking for a little bumps. Gina There's Joseph is calling the, the steps that you're doing feather light. Yeah, true. Light as a feather, just... just Softly going over true. the surface. Yeah, true. With the hand file, you need to apply a little bit more pressure. Yeah. Because you're really um, a, a technically abrasing the surface into the desired shape. Yeah. And this is just connecting the cuticle area to the uh, elongation and also checking if everything is perfect. Because this is a check. If I check the nail right now, I can see parts that are not filed. And it means that, the, that uh, those are lower parts of the nail. And it means that it needs a little bit more filing. So if the whole area is gray, it means that it is perfectly smooth. Naomi is saying that she was afraid uh, at first with these bits. Now they are all she uses and yeah. they are excellent for around the sides when removing products. They're also great yeah. when a little bit of product actually seeps into the cuticle to take it or the side walls to take it away. I also had to get used to it, but I have... Uh, I, I, Absolutely adore them. The expert yeah. bits are also great when you want to correct the nails from underneath yeah. and correcting the hairline of the nail. But that is something for another Nail Talk Live e-workshop. Okay, when I start filing, I cannot stop. So for me, this is it right now. Aletta cannot wait for the top gel moment. <laughs> She's quivering. Me neither. Okay. Okay, there's always room for improvement, but I think this is... Okay, <laughs> now I'm going to take away the dust and then you can see a little bit of the design. And what I'm <coughs> also looking for is if there are little parts that, I that, I uh, that are um, um, damaged. So either the black parts, the blush uh, creed. Yeah, or, or the flakes. Yeah. There can be pieces that are damaged a little bit. And this is the moment, of course, because when you see... Sorry. When you see the design like this, it's very hard to see if there are uh, missing pieces. But I think it's okay, so it's time for top gel. Ooh, the Ooh. moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> yes, and I'm going to use a true col uh, color uh, top gel because it's a very dark color that I apply. And using the true color top gel, you don't have this problem with the uh, with the blue glow when you uh, when you step outside because this top gel doesn't have an UV filter, so black mm. stays perfectly black. But be careful when you use the true color top gel because it is sensitive to light. So make sure that you're away from the window when you start using the true color top gel. Yeah. Okay. End result. This is just sexy. Nice, eh? It's beautiful. It's like a milk bath needs, needs a hybrid <laughs> in a nightclub, <laughs> wearing sexy clothing. It's a very elegant nail. It's a blood bath. It's a blood bath, but blood, that sounds blood, blood a little bath. bit uh, <laughs> like um, a, a vampire movie. Yeah. So let's call it a milk bath with a oil red bath. sheen. Oil bath. An oil bath. That's better. Love it, Louvelle, Ingeborg, prachtig, Syriza. 
Uh, Ta-da! Henriette, just so pretty. <laughs> Bianca you. is in love with it. I really, 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 really love it, Theresa. Oh. says. <laughs> Milena says, I must look back to the beginning because I missed it, unfortunately. Milena, was je er gewoon niet bij? Uh -oh. Next week, it's your turn. Eh? Hurry up, Syriza. Top gel. So, uh, Jessica is saying, Etty loves it. Uh, Sabine loves it. Monica Pearson, <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. It's just an amazing nail. Um, are you already going in the light or are we still enjoying the application? Oh no, I'm already curing right now huh. because then we can see the end result and I'm going to use a little bit of oil around the nail of the finger because it's a little bit uh, Never too white. much oil, eh? No, I know, I know. No, That's okay, while time. you do that, I'll go through the homework one last time for this evening and make sure that you understand it, make a screenshot, create a set, a matching set of five nails on a model or on Colourpops with this deep, sexy inlay hybrid effect. Combine at least, at least two different technical products like acrylics, gels, power gels, blushes, gel polish, builders in the bottle. A matching set of five nails on a model or on Colourpops. You have two weeks to complete your task and to upload your homework. The deadline is on January 24th. Upload your homework using the link that you can find in the album called Blush Meets Power Gel Element. And this album you can find in the group. If you do not use the link to upload your homework, unfortunately you are disqualified. Here you can see how it goes. Here's where you can find the albums. In the albums you click on it, you see the e-workshop, you choose the correct e-workshop because sometimes there are two to choose from. Go to the comment section and there you will find the link that you can use to upload the step-by-step -step photos of your homework and the final result. We need both the step-by-step -step photos to ensure that you are the creator of that beautiful final set of nails in this case. Jessica receives all of the homework, checks everything as, and is in contact with the trainers not only to give you feedback to make sure that you get your certificates but also to give the trainer the chance to choose the winners of this e-workshop challenge. Of course, you will get your e-certificate when the work is done properly and correctly. So you don't always get the e-workshop certificate, you have to work for it, but we choose three winners every show and this time the grand kit or the prize that you can win is the blush display containing the six sinful blushes so the whole collection of six colors beautiful chameleon flakes in two shades and power gel clear because tonight was the show where it's all about the hybrid nail and the hybrid nail means that you need to win two different technical products that meet and match together for that perfect unison. How perfect that is, we will see when we go back to the tech table. <laughs> when Gil is there. Yeah, behind, <laughs> behind the, how can I say that? In the, how you say that? Behind the regie. The directors, oh, behind the, dire the camera. Yeah, behind the camera, I see Gil going left and right and left and right. But okay, we're back to the nail and we're going to have a look at the end results. This wow, is the I was looking at the comments, but I have to look at your nail. <gasps> it's like there are opals in that nail. Yeah. Without it being very thick or clumpy. Yeah, especially for you, Pepine. Oh, and with what would you combine this? With, with black. red or with black? With black. This is a nail that I don't want to wear on all ten nails. This is a nail that I should wear, that I would wear on maybe one or two. On each hand. I would love to have this on all 10 nails. Really? It's Valentine's Day or almost. So it's oh, like a yeah. bloody Valentine. <laughs> Instead of cute little hearts. We True. now have the, the color of desire. True. Beautiful True. nails, Risa. Everybody's loving it. I see a lot of different loving hearts. A lot of hearts in the comments. Uh, I see something about food that's also a Neil Talk Live e-workshop tradition. We talk a lot about food yeah, and um, uh, Milena, who's our next guest next week, she had carpaccio this evening Ooh. from Sabrosa and that was delicious. Well, not as delicious as going to Rome where it's plus 13. Oh, I yeah. bet there's also a great carpaccio. <laughs> a lovely effect, says Nadia Munch. So beautiful, beautiful Joyce uh, says... 
a different take on Valentine's Day nails. I feel you, Joyce. <laughs> I do. I agree. Vamp Valentine nail. Also a great way to put this, Nadia. Take it away. Start to offer this to your clients. Create your homework. Thank you, Sarisa, for this very, very, very first International Nail Talk Live e-workshop. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, and the time is going so fast when you're working, and now it's already done. Now was the first one, but yeah, there, uh, there are coming a lot of perfect, amazing trainers after me. It was so much fun to be here the first time together with you, Pepine. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's. I want to see more. We also want to see more because we need to have the final screenshot moment of oh, the yeah. nail, of course, Risa. We almost forgot. <laughs> so let's focus on this stunning, beautiful nail with all of that effect. And we'll go, my, my voice is not what it used to be, <laughs> but we will go. Three, two, two one, one, screenshot! <laughs> Another tradition, <laughs> Nail Talk Live, but this is the nail that we've done today. Uh, we have more e-workshops for you coming ahead. Next week, Milana with all of her gel polish tips and tricks in the gel polish refill. I think the surface that you do most often in your nail studio. A week later, it's the turn for Joanna from Ireland. First time in Nail Talk Live, first time in an e-workshop. And I'm excited because she's going to introduce all of us to her world of ombre. And to close off the month of January, because time goes fast, Jessica is here to show gel polish nail art techniques, but in a basic beginning level, and we'll build that up throughout the months because Jessica earned and is the queen of nail art, earned that title, and she will show us all of her techniques. In the month of January, our product of the month is of course the beautiful magnetic gel polishes. So contact your local distributor, get more color, start loving magnetic gel polishes as much as we do. For now, I want to thank you, Syriza, for being here for this very first international e-workshop. Yeah, thank you, Pepine. It was very nice to be here, and I want to thank all of you for watching because we are we were watching with a, uh, you were watching with a big group. Thank you so much also for your comments, and I'm going to watch back, of course, this live to see what you all wrote down. Thank you so much. Have a very great evening, and yeah, if you have questions, please let me know. Bye. Don't forget that on Friday, Gillian will post on YouTube the e-workshop, but then with all the subtitle pos options, possibilities for you in French, in German, in Italian. And we will see how many languages we are able to create in one day. So go to YouTube, Magnetic Nail Talk. Go there on Friday evening, check this e-workshop and then hit the little round thing that you see and it will give you the subtitling options in your own language. Make sure to share with everybody that we do these e-workshops and that everybody, whether or not you work with Magnetic, whether you are a beginner or a more advanced technician, whether you are a trainer or an ambassador, whenever you love nails, you are welcome to participate in Nail Talk Live to show us and the world your skills and possibly at one moment, be my guest here at the tech table, showing the rest of the world your love. If you need information about possible distribution, if you want to find a local magnetic distributor, if you want to go to a class of magnetic nail design, feel free to send us an email at info at magneticnaildesign.com, screenshot <laughs> info at magneticnaildesign.com, and we will contact you back, we will reply and help you further, get you in touch with somebody close to you or speak and set up a meeting to talk about possibilities for you and us all. I saw the finger of Cerise, yeah. so I think she wants to say one more last thing. Gillian, go back to your seat. Uh, sorry, Gillian, but I think you need one more tip. Uh, when you send in your homework, please wait before you post your homework on the, uh, on the group. You can post your homework in the group, Nail Talk Live International, after we present you the winners. So I'm very, yeah, I'm <coughs> very curious what you're going to make. So toy, toy, toy. Then comes to me. I want to thank you for watching tonight for this very first one. We were a little bit nervous 
are people are going to watch and how are we will do it and how bad is my English when I get excited because excitement sometimes kills the cat. I want to thank Gillian as always behind the scenes making sure that we are able to do all of this. I want to thank uh, of course Risa and her mother Brenda for being here this evening. I want to thank Jaap and May for making all of this possible and I want to thank you for making it so beautiful this evening. I wish you a great evening. See you next week. See you on Wednesday. See you soon. See you at Neil Talk Live.